Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. You know me, I'm a poncho lover. Every uh, summer I prepared a video tutorial how to crochet a summer poncho. This poncho is made with uh, four squares with a very simple flower in the middle of the square. Uh, the instructions uh, how to crochet this um, uh, poncho you will find as always in the box right below this video tutorial written pattern is for free on my blog. I will use Terina um, yarn. It's a 100% acrylic yarn. In one ball there are 100 grams and 300 uh, meters so it's a quite a long yarn and I will need two balls of white color, one ball of a peach color and one ball of a, this violet color for my poncho. I will use five millimeters crochet hook. You will need the scissors and the tapestry needle and that's it. The poncho is uh, for very beginners. Uh, the size is a medium or large size but you can very easily adjust it to the smaller or the larger and I will explain how to do it. We will start with the first square. We will start with a magic ring and I will chain three, one, two and three at the beginning which is my first double crochet. Then I will place 15 double crochet stitches into the magic ring. I count chain three at the beginning as a stitch so I will have in this first round 16 double crochet stitches. I will work in closed rounds which means that I will close each round with a slip stitch placed on the top of the first stitch or on the top of the cluster which I will show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16. Amazing. Now tie the end as much as you can to close the circle. I will close the round with a slip stitch but in this case I will not finish the slip stitch with the white color but I will change the color. I will use the peach color for the next round. So let me grab the new yarn, pull it through the third uh, chain at the beginning and through the loop on my hook. Perfect. Now I change the color and also close the round. In next round I will work a cluster of uh, two um, stitches. I will chain one, two, three, three chains. Now yarn over twice and let's make a treble which I will join with these three uh, chains at the beginning. So it will be my first cluster. Okay, now yarn over and pull yarn through two loops on the hook. Amazing. Now chain two and let's place two trebles cluster in next stitch and I will place two trebles cluster in each and every stitch from the previous round and chain two between the clusters. So the first treble, don't finish it, let's start the same second one in the same stitch, in the same double crochet from the previous round, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull yarn through all three loops on the hook and chain two, one, two. And again two trebles cluster in the next double crochet, pull yarn through two, pull yarn through two, don't continue, yarn over twice and let's start the second 
treble in the same stitch, pull yarn through two, pull yarn through two, yarn over and pull yarn through three loops on the hook and chain two. Amazing! So at the end of this round you will have 16, two trebles clusters and chain two between them. Okay, and again I will close the round with a slip stitch and this slip stitch will be placed on the top of the first cluster. Chain two and again the next two trebles cluster and the next stitch. Perfect. Yarn over twice and the second treble in the same stitch, pull yarn through two, pull yarn through two and pull yarn through three loops on the hook and chain two. And you can continue and I will meet you at the end of this round and I will change the color again. We'll chain two and the last cluster into the last stitch. I have 16 clusters and chain two between them, chain two, perfect. Now I will change the color. So insert the hook on the top of the first cluster, grab the new yarn and pull yarn through the top of the first cluster and also through the loop on your hook. Perfect, we nicely joined the second round and let's start third round. I will move by slip stitch into the chain two space and I will again make a cluster. Okay, so let's move by slip stitch into the next stitch and then chain the first treble. One, two, three and four. So this is my first treble and I will make a cluster of four trebles. So this is the second, don't finish it, the third, and the fourth. So in this third round I will make a cluster of four trebles. Let's join them together. So pull yarn through all four loops on the hook and then chain three. One, two, three. Into the next chain two space. Let's make four trebles cluster again. One, two, three, and four, yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on the hook. I have five loops, so pull yarn through all five loops and then chain three. And in each and every chain two space from the previous round I will make a cluster of four trebles and chain three between them and at the end of this round you will have 16 clusters and 16 chain three spaces and in next round, round number four, we will create a square. So we will work on four corners. So now we have a nice circle and in next round we will create a square. So again I will meet you at the end of this round. 
Here we are. Let me finish the last cluster. So this is it. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull yarn through all loops on the hook and chain three. Again, I will close the round with a slip stitch on the top of the first cluster and next round I will use the white color again. So I have to cut the yarn. It uh, will be amazing if uh, you will be able to fasten off and uh, hide the ends when you finish every round or at least when you finish each circle. Okay, I rejoined the yarn and now let's make the uh, square and I will show you how to do it. So let's move uh, in the chain um, three space by a slip stitch and then let's make a treble. First treble uh, four chains at the beginning. One, two, three, four. Four uh, chains. This is my first treble. And then I will place three trebles in the same chain three space. One, two, and three. So I have four trebles in chain three space. Then chain one and let's make a group of four trebles in next chain three space. So now I'm working on groups of trebles. There are four trebles as a group and chain one between them. And I will show you how to make a corner. So this is my fourth treble. And to make a corner, chain three, one, two, three, and let's make four trebles into the same chain three space. So the corner stitch is or consists of four trebles, three chains and four trebles. And this is how you will make the corner in next uh, four rounds. Okay. So this is it. This is my corner. And then I will work four trebles groups in next three, one, two, three, chain three spaces and again the corner. So easily speaking, in every fourth chain space, I will make the corner. And we have 16 chain spaces, so it's a perfect number to make a square. So now three groups of four trebles in each chain space, chain one between groups and again a group of uh, four trebles. And I will repeat um, this round with uh, four trebles groups and four corners in the next few rounds and you can repeat them as many times as you 
need for your size. Okay, so I will make five rounds, but you can make more or less if you want to have your square or your poncho bigger or smaller. So it's super easy to adjust the poncho just to make the square smaller or bigger for your size. Okay, so now I have one, two, three groups and I will make the corner into the next chain three space. And in next five rounds I will do this pattern and I will change the color every second round. I will change the white color and the peach color. So four trebles, chain three and four trebles to make a corner. This pattern is easy, perfect for beginners. Everyone can make a four squares poncho. <laughs> okay, so let's look at it. So then work uh, three groups of trebles, one, two, three, and a third corner, one, two, three, and the fourth corner, one, two, three, and the first corner, here we are. <laughs> so I will meet you at the end of this round. Just make sure we chain three in the corner and chain one between groups of four trebles. So chain one and join the round with a slip stitch. And as I told you, I will change the color and I will use this uh, light orange or the peach color. Uh, for the beginners, so if you are a beginner, I would recommend you to start in the corner, but uh, of course you can start in any um, stitch and any space you like. Okay, so here we are. And now I will place in each chain one space four trebles and the corner into the corner. So you can continue crocheting. In every uh, next round you will have one more group between the corners. So now I have three. In next round I will have four groups between corners. In next round I will have five and so on and so on. So let's start the group of four trebles with a chain uh, four. One, two, three, four. This is my first treble. Then yarn over twice and let's place uh, three more trebles into the same chain. One space. It's easy. To make the poncho bigger. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Then chain one. And let's place a group of four trebles in the next chain one space. And the corner into the corner. One, two, three, four. Chain one. And a group of four trebles. Chain three and four trebles in chain three space. So this is how you will create the corner in next uh, four rounds. Then I will uh, use double crochet stitches but uh, 
I will <laughs> definitely uh, mention it. So now chain three. And four trebles. Easy peasy. <laughs> Guys, you have to tell me, do you like ponchos? I love ponchos. They are amazing. You can wear them all the time, during all whole year, for every occasion. And I especially love wearing ponchos in the summertime, um, during, uh, and during the transition period between the summer and the fall time, in the summer evenings or cooler afternoon, and uh, this uh, this uh, mm, poncho with uh, four squares is my favorite one. So okay, let's continue corner into the corner and uh, a group of four trebles in each chain one space and I will meet you uh, at the end of the round. Here we are, I have one, two, three, four groups between the corners. Let me remind you that I chain one between, um, between the groups. So now I have one, two, three, four, five rounds and I'm finished with this pattern. In the next two rounds I will use the violet um, yarn and I will make a more light pattern with the chain spaces. Now my square has 34 centimeters, 13 inches. And you can make your square bigger just to repeat the last uh, row. Okay, and uh, diagonal length is 45 centimeters, 17 inches. Now I will change the pattern and also the color. You can start uh, uh, in uh, any chain one space or in uh, the corner fully up to you. Okay, and I will uh, work single crochet stitches in the middle of the group of four trebles. I will work one single crochet in the second and the third treble of the group. Start with a chain one and then play single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. So you see we have uh, two single crochets in the middle of the group of uh, four trebles. Then chain five and let's place a, a single crochet again, uh, two single crochets in the middle of next uh, one, two, three, four, five chains. So skip one double crochet, one chain and one double crochet, or sorry, treble, and then work single crochet in next two stitches. Then chain five, skip one treble, one chain, one treble, and then work one single crochet in next two stitches. So as you can see, the single crochet stitches are always in the middle of the group of four trebles from the previous round. Here we are. Chain five. Okay, there are also four trebles. So make single crochet in the second and in the third one. Chain one. And then I will work four double crochet one two three and four okay so it's important now i'm working double crochet stitches into the corner chain three and again four double crochet stitches so this is uh, the row where i 
I'm using double crochets and then in each and every row I will work double crochet stitches in the corner for double crochets chain three and four double crochet so this is the first round where I'm using double crochet stitches okay so two single crochets chain five and two single crochets and uh, before and after the corner chain one only okay so when once you finish the corner chain one and then single crochet in uh, the second and the third uh, treble of the group of four so this is the only exception so chain one uh, before and after the corner here we are I'm at the end chain one two three four five and then I will close the round with a slip stitch placed on the top of the first single crochet now I will uh, move in the middle of the center of five um, chains I will uh, place um, place a slip stitch in next uh, one two three stitches and then I will chain one and make a double crochet into the chain a five space. So a double crochet in chain five space. Perfect. Here we are. And now one, two, three, four chains. And again a double crochet in the next chain 5 space and I will place double crochet in each chain space I will chain 4 between double crochet stitches till I reach the corner and again in the corner I will place 4 double crochets chain 3 and 4 double crochets and this is the last row with this violet color on the square and the next row will be last row I will use white color and I will use this white color from each and every square okay one two three four chains double crochet again one two three four chains double crochet uh, in chain one space there is a chain one space before and after the corner then chain four one two three four and again four double crochet chain three and four double crochet and I will make four squares two same squares I mean uh, uh, the colors are the same for the front and the back panel and uh, two the same squares for shoulders so there are two and two squares with the same color but of course you can make uh, four the same squares up to you one two three and again four doubles and what's important in my pattern then the last row of each square is made with one white color and I will join the squares uh, together with white color again so I love to have you know the colors in line and uh, so this is the only exception then I will use the white color for the last row on my squares so yeah let's continue chain four one double crochet in uh, chain five space and again 
uh, chain four and one double crochet till you reach the beginning join the round um, with a slip stitch place on the top of the first double crochet you can cut the yarn and fasten off and then we will make the last row with double crochet stitches okay so that's a slip stitch and double crochet on the top of the first double crochet and the next row will be super easy I will place five double crochet stitches in each and every chain space we have chain four spaces in the previous round so in each and every chain four space I will work um, five double crochets and uh, the corner stitch into the corner and before and after the corner chain one so let's get started the last row you can start in any chain space you of course you can start in the corner chain three at the beginning and then work one two three four and five double crochets one two three four five double crochets I don't count chain two at the beginning as a stitch now one two three four and five double crochets in next chain space okay here we are I'm right in the corner so I have five double crochets chain one and make a corner stitch four double crochets chain three and four double crochets and then chain one it's important <laughs> to chain one okay one two three and four chain one and again five double crochet stitches in next chain space I will meet you at the end the square the first square will be finished you will repeat the instructions how to make the square and we will create four squares for our poncho <laughs> so chain one four doubles chain three four doubles chain one and five doubles Here we are. <laughs> Finish the round with a slip stitch on the top of the first double crochet. And of course I will measure the square and you can make the square bigger or smaller. This poncho is uh, for small, um, uh, for a uh, medium, a uh, large uh, size, woman size. But I think it will fit to the small or 
extra large sizes as well. So my square has 45 centimeters, 17.5 inches. And one row, if you would like to make this, the square bigger, measures almost 2 centimeters, uh, so 0 0.8 inches. Okay, so if you would like to make more rounds to make the poncho bigger or less rounds, of course, to make the poncho smaller. And I'm using Yarterina, three colors. And uh, yeah, five millimeters crochet hook for the whole project. And now it's the time to hide the ends to have a nice uh, square prepared for the joining. I would recommend you as I change the color every round so there are two ends to make two knots and then fasten off then hide the ends so it's just a secure reason to make one or two knots before you hide the ends you know I'm always a bit nervous once uh, there is a project with more colors so I, I hide the ends perfectly go front and back several times okay so yeah finish your square and I will meet you once you have four squares prepared and this is the first part of my video tutorial and the second part I will show you how to join the squares and how to make the neckline border and the bottom border so here we are my crochet friends I have four squares well two uh, same ones for the front and back panel these ones <laughs> with the peach color in the middle and two for the shoulders there is a white color in the middle at the beginning of my square so this is it and I will show you so this is the position of square front and back panel and you uh, will fold two, um, two squares for the shoulders and then you will join the back panel and the shoulder one and two square and then you will attach the front panel so it's super easy just make sure when you um, join the squares to work on the wrong side and in the next video tutorial I will show you how to make the poncho bigger to make the bottom border so you can place uh, the back panel wrong side is facing you then again the shoulder a square again the wrong side is facing you and join them together and then you will join the back panel with the second shoulder square again make sure the wrong side is facing you this is it so you can start with the back panel and shoulders panels and then fold the squares like this
perfect then turn your poncho on the wrong side and attach the front panel okay so now the right side is facing you and you have to turn it upside down so this is it my crochet friend thank you very much for watching this is the end of my first video tutorial how to crochet for square poncho in the second part we will finish the poncho so see you soon bye bye